بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سالار خان ہیئر اینڈ ٹو ڈے وی اسٹارٹ واٹ وی اسٹارٹ اے نیو ٹاپک اینڈ دا نیو ٹاپک از واٹ اٹ از دا ٹاپک آف کلیمپرس سو ویل ناٹ گو ان دیٹ سارٹ آف اے ڈیٹیل ایز وی ڈیڈ ان دا کلیپرس دس از بیسکلی واٹ دا اوور آل تھنگ از یور نیٹ ورک اینالیسز یو نیڈ ٹو ہیو اے اسٹرانگ بیسکس ان یور نیٹ ورک اینالیسز کے وی ایل کے سی ایل اوپن سرکٹ شارٹ سرکٹ and that is what it is you're given a circuit you're asked to find the output voltage you're asked to find the voltage across the diode that is not something difficult the major thing is you need to understand the application of the diode so the clippers were what their half wave rectifiers were the first application you understood what it does ac to dc the next was clippers what does it do it uh, you know it uh, uh, clips removes a certain portion of a waveform either up above a certain level or below a certain level The number three application that we see today that we basically start today is the clamper circuit is the clamper circuit so now the clamper circuit does what it shifts away from clamper so the clamper circuit basically shifts the waveform to a new dc level and a new dc level what yes you know it very well so basically what does it do it it takes the waveform from one level puts it on another level either above takes it upward takes it downward you could have seen the amplitude shifting you could say right it shifts the amplitude without changing the overall thing the overall waveform the overall rms value would remain the same but it would be what it would be shifted by some amount either upwards or downwards the overall shape would remain the same so what could i do over here i could write that it would shift away from shift away from from its particular reference level to either upward or downward so it would shift the way from either upward this upward shifting and it could also shift it downward depending on the diode configuration so we'll see and this upward shifting is suppose now this is called to be a positive clamper and this downward shifting this would be called a negative clamper right isn't it it is no change in shape right yes introduces a dc level a dc component in the input wave form yes the the shift the shift amplitude shift is a dc component so write down this point for yourself that the that the clamper introduces a dc component in the input right yes so what do we use over here we use capacitors over there in the clippers and the rectifiers we only had resistive elements over here we also have capacitors right yes so let's start the discussion let's say for instance this video is for the negative clampers so let me draw a simple negative clamper circuit and this is like this this is like this a simple one so have a look the output is taken across this plus minus the output voltage plus minus the input voltage the voltage across the capacitor c and this is for instance an ideal diode d now let me tell you from the beginning this video and the next video the introduction if you find it a little confusing you may find it a little, a little difficult to understand you can skip these two videos you can directly go into the examples of the clamper circuits we'll see that stepwise we'll see that in a detail as well so you can get the overall concept of the of the thing of the topic right yes sir okay so let's start our analysis considering that our input voltage in this case is is a sinusoid say input voltage is a sinusoid that is vm sine of omega t yes yes now have a look you could directly say that the The, the the diode is shorted out in the positive cycle because of the reference polarity plus current to p minus current to n so the diode is shorted you have what when the input voltage the voltage across the diode is directly equal to the input voltage so vd is equal to the input voltage which is equal to vm sine of omega t and in order for the diode to conduct it should be greater than zero to make it what to make it a forward bias and if this is greater than zero which means that the input voltage 
is greater than zero, right? Yes, yes. Input voltage is greater than zero. So this would imply what? That the output voltage, if this is shorted out, it would directly be equal to zero volts. Directly will be equal to zero volts, right? Yes. So if this is equal to zero volts, have a look. What would be the case? You need to find out the voltage across the capacitor as well. So the plus is connected to this side. Yes, minus is connected to this side. So the voltage across the capacitor in this case is also equal to V input. Yes, applying the KVL. So the voltage across the capacitor is also equal to the input voltage, which is again equal to Vm sine of omega t. Isn't it? It is. So. What happens is that the capacitor has been charged to this value, to Vm sine of omega t value. Yes, yes. Now, one is one important point. The tau, the tau value, the tau value that is equal to Rc. This is known as the time constant of the capacitor. Time constant. So this, in, this is the time in which 63% of the capacitor is charged or it is discharged. Yes? Yes. So, so please write it down. Tau is what? Tau is the time in which 63.9 I believe is the perfect figure or 63.7 just let it be, let it be 63%. So in which 63% of capacitor is fully charged or discharged. and is charged or discharged and for complete charging or discharging it the time taken is 5 tau for complete charge or discharge the time taken is 5 tau right yeah so this is something you know from your basics so in this case what do we need to do is we need to do that the time constant we need to take this value this should be far greater than half of the period of our input waveform this should be far greater than the half of the period of the input waveform now why is this why is this so this is because that once the capacitor gets charged in one cycle so in the next cycle when the diode is off the capacitor should not just charge in that time yes yes so this is because that the capacitor should not discharge during the time for which diode is off so this should not discharge during that cycle now for instance in the positive cycle the diode is conducting right it's on so this has been charged now for the negative cycle the time constant should be way greater that it does not discharge during the negative half cycle why because in the negative half cycle the diode is off and the reason you will understand later when we draw the output waveform. Yes, so for this was enough uh, for this, but let's say if you have the, the, if you talk about the current through the diode as well. Let's say if you talk about the current through the diode as well, that is IC. So this, uh, through the, through this, through this, through this, yeah, eh? capacitor. So this would enter the positive. So this would be equal to DVC upon DT, right? This is the derivative. So what would happen? It would be, uh, this is V input, so Vm sine of omega t. So this would be the derivative of Vm sine of omega t. And you know the differentiation and this and that, which I am quite weak in. So the current through the capacitor is what? It's, it would be omega C, uh, C dv, C dt. Yes. So omega C, Vm, cause of omega t right and this is the current that has to flow in this direction which is in accordance with the arrow symbol of the diode that is from the p to n side n or to cathode or whatever but the current through the diode also flows from the p to n side only yes so this is through the current through the diode so uh, in order for the diode to conduct for diode to be on what should be the condition to be on the current id 
the current through the diode should be greater than zero isn't it like this it is or this current is the same as the capacitor current as we find out so we could write that a current the ic value should be greater than zero right yes and when is this value going to be greater than zero so this value is going to be greater than zero when cause is greater than zero because omega is a positive value capacitor is a positive value vm is let's say a positive value for the positive cycle so cause is 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 positive either in the first quadrant or the fourth quadrant so the first quadrant and the fourth quadrant which means from 0 to 90 and then from 180 to 270 so we do not conduct we do not consider the the fourth quadrant why because time cannot be negative right so the time could only be positive and this is which means that we will be considering the first quadrant so which means ic would be greater than zero we'll consider the case when the omega t lies in the range 0 to 90 degrees you can write it in radians as well now what happens at omega t equal to 90 degree at omega t equal to 90 degree what would happen cause of 90 would become cause of 90 uh, 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 wait oh this is the v uh, v output we see we see sorry we see for so at omega t equal to 90 degree the v c would become equal to what v m sine of 90 so sine of 90 would be 1 so if sine of 90 is 1 so what happens is that the v c would be equal to v m which means it has charged to the maximum value till 90 degrees it has charged to the maximum value at 90 degrees after that the current through the diode will try to become negative because now this is the maximum value 90 degree is the maximum value after this the current through the diode will try to become negative why because the cosine will become negative after 90 degree because cause is negative in the second quarter isn't it like this so the diode will turn off the diode will turn off so what do we have have a look after 90 degree after 90 degrees what happens current will become negative that is in the opposite direction so have a look when the opposite direction let's say for instance negative positive so it will not be passing through so it will become negative why because cause is negative after 90 degrees so what would happen the overall effect would be that the diode will become off the diode will be off isn't it it is so let's get the analysis of the diode if off so if the diode is off so which means that the output is taken across these terminals so considering the off diode the input is equal to vc plus v output if the diode is off this implies what that the input is vc plus v output so in that case if you calculate v output in that case if you calculate the output voltage so this would be equal to v input minus vc v input minus a vc yes yes now what happens let me come over here so this implies what that the output voltage is vm sine of omega t and minus for vc what would i write for vc i would write this value of vm and why would i write this value of vm because the capacitor is charged till this value vm capacitor is charged till this value of vm now why not vm sine of omega t why have i written the maximum value because i already told you that the discharging time is much greater than half of the period so the the charge that it has reached the maximum really over here of v volts this would be present over here for a period that is much greater than half time period of the input waveform so this capacitor will have the same voltage vm across it for this negative cycle and this is what the output would be this is what the output would 
be is it clear it should be it should be right yes let us draw the waveforms let us draw the waveforms so let's say my input voltage is, or wait a minute just wait a minute this is my time axis omega t or time or simply whatever we input and similarly let's say i draw my output over here so let me take the reference points this is 90 degrees 180 degrees 270 degrees 360 degrees and then repetition 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 so the output voltage have a look from 0 to 90 degrees from 0 to 90 degrees where is the case this is the case ic is positive what happens it the diode is on v naught is equal to what v naught is equal to 0 right why because this is a short circuit then so v naught is equal to 0 from 0 to 90 degrees yes yes then at 90 degrees what happens is at 90 degrees the input is uh, uh, vm right so vm sine of 90 is 1 and vm minus vm becomes 0 fine yes then at uh, zero degrees this is not zero this is 180 degrees so sine of 180 would be zero so which means over here you would have a minus vm over here you would have a minus vm minus vm value right yes then over here at uh, 270 degrees so 270 degrees this is minus one so minus of vm minus of vm would give you a minus of 2 vm minus of 2 vm right and similarly this would repeat this would repeat so have a look this is what angle this is for this one right this is what this is 90 so, so at 90 this would be 0 this is what 180 so this would be uh, what would be this it would repeat in such a manner right have a look this is this angle is let's say for instance this is a 180 degrees so this would be a zero for that so you would have a negative vm so the waveform repeats basically the waveform would repeat this is a pure sinusoid this is a pure sinusoid so let me put some dots over here is that fine yes now i told you this would be confusing and this is very much confusing why because you i said in the introduction that this would be, uh, just be uh, with not be changing the waveform so this i also drawn the waveform wrong and similarly if you see after a number of cycle or one cycle after this this would be a pure sinusoid and this is said to be clamped at minus 2 vm why because the new level dc level is minus 2 vm fine yes so basically you may have not understood this you may find it difficult may find it confusing just go to the examples video directly right yes so i believe that this is it for this one okay so i hope you don't have a confusion and if you have so i've told you the alternative <laughs> right yes let's say we see a negative clamper with a bias with an external biasing source so this was an unbiased clamper right this was an unbiased unbiased to negative clamper let us have a biased negative clamper let me remove this this you know is at a negative 2 vm let me have a biased negative clamper so well i've already told you about the background noise you will be hearing some tuck and twos and this and that this is a construction going on in the neighborhood anyways so let's say i have an input voltage capacitor diode 
reference voltage source plus minus of input plus minus of output this is reference source vr this is an ideal diode d this would have a vc capacitance capacitance voltage across the capacitor so what happens is let's say and i and i mentioned a short circuit test in the previous video and the open circuit test so what does basically this mean you would be interested to know short short circuit test mean you just shot the diode and know the the, the important the the no the the required parameters in the open circuit test you open circuit the diode and find the required parameters for example let's say you short circuit test you short circuit the diode and find the current through diode in the open circuit test you open circuit the terminals of the diode and and find the voltage of the diode p to n side plus to minus right yes so let's say i short i do the short circuit test i apply the short circuit test so what would happen if the diode is positive this implies what that we see this would be a plus this would be a minus right so the input is vc plus a v output input is vc plus v output so you could say that vc is input voltage minus the output voltage now yes and if this is shorted if this is shorted short circuit test if this is shorted so the output would be what the output would be simply equal to vr so this means what that we see the capacitor voltage is equal to vm sine of omega t minus a we are the reference value isn't it like this it is now if you talk about the capacitor current as we saw in the previous video so we are talking about the we are talking on the basis of that right yes so let's say the capacitor current ic so this is equal to d v c upon dt so this would be again the same thing omega uh, this is c d v c dt why do i forget the c so this would be a c times omega v m cause of omega t the derivative of vr would be zero right now this the the, the 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 capacitor current plus to minus is in the same direction as the diode current so for in order to diode to conduct what should be the case for forward biasing the diode the case should be that id which in this case is equal to ic this should be greater this should be greater than zero isn't it it is so which means what that it would be greater than zero again in the same case that is from zero degrees to from zero degrees to 90 degrees isn't it like this it is now what would happen at 90 degrees so at 90 degrees the 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 this would be maximum we see right at omega t equal to 90 degrees what would happen ic would be zero ic would be zero and vc would be what vc would be vc would be vm minus vr because the this one right so the sign of 90 is one so what happened is vm minus vr the this has built up a potential this has been charged in this cycle to this value right now in the next cycle it would discharge but we had taken the time interval so long that it will not discharge in that time yes yes and v naught would be what v naught v naught would be v input minus vc so in this case v naught would be v input minus a vc and you know v input you know v vc right so let me remove a little bit of this portion so we that so that we can continue let's say i remove this portion all right so now what is the case now if we talk about the voltage across the diode so the voltage across the diode is basically like this plus to minus voltage right so the voltage across the diode this would be equal to simply if you apply a kvl over here so v not minus vr v not minus vr right yes so this would be equal to v not minus vr you have the value of v not you have 
the value of vr so v naught is what it's vi minus vc minus vr over here now vc you have the value of vc which is a vm minus vr so this implies what that vi minus vm plus vr and then a minus vr so this is cancelled out and this implies what that the voltage across the diode this is what vi minus a vm vi minus a vm right yes so the voltage across the diode in this case if you see if for instance i take the value of vi as well so vd which is equal to vm sine of omega t and then you have a minus of vm so what is the case vm is some positive value right some some magnitude some amplitude so this has to be a positive value and the next thing is sine of omega t so this sine of omega t has a minimum value of minus one and it has a maximum value of one it has a maximum value of one right so what does this mean if this is one and this vm is let's say any greater value so which means the overall voltage across the diode vd the overall voltage across the diode vd is negative this is negative why because the maximum value of this is sine sine is one because maximum value of sine is one so if you have one for instance multiplied with this and you're subtracting with something from that so that would give you a negative value and v naught finally draw the v naught what would be v naught v naught would be what it's vi uh, minus vm plus vr from here you could write v naught minus uh, v naught is what v input uh. V input minus Vm plus Vr because minus Vc, right? Yes, V out is equal to V input minus Vc. So you could write V input minus Vm and plus Vr. Or you could also write it like this. You could take the minus sign because this is the negative clamper. So minus you could say a Vm minus Vr. So this is the clamping level. So this comes out to be a negative clipper and a negative clamper. And I hope that you have done. You are you have understood the point. So let me draw the graph very very quickly because the the battery has about the 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 memory card has about five minutes. So let's say this is input voltage. This is my output voltage. Let's say this is a sinusoid. Fine, so let me drop down these points. This is 90, 180, 270, 360, and then plus 90 and whatever. So let's say the output voltage. First, what happens is that when it's uh, less than 90 degrees, so it's less than 90 degrees, so this would be off, right? And the output would directly be equal to Vr. The output would be equal to Vr. Then what happens is, uh, then this is so at 90 degrees this is zero right then at 180 degrees 180 degrees sine of 180 is zero so you have a minus uh, so you have a vm minus vr value right so somewhere over here then you have a minus 2 vm minus vr minus 2 vm plus vr minus 2 vm plus vr is this value similarly over here you have again the same value and then over here you would have a positive values vr right then over here you would have a zero right so this is the graph and this would repeat in such a manner now after this you will not get this you will not get this you will get a pure sinusoid you will get a pure sinusoid right so that is it about this video we've seen the unbiased negative clamper we've seen the biased negative clamper we don't need to go into detail of positive biasing and negative biasing right yes and once again i say if you have not understood the concept you've not understood it properly you've not you've got it confused so see the examples video that is quite easy quite simpler and you'll get the overall concept of the clamper circuits 
Clamper is what? It shifts the level. Adds, introduces a DC shift. Introduces a DC level. Okay. Anyways, till the next video, take care of yourselves, everyone around you. Do remember me in your prayers. Do subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.